Welcome back, spicy food fans. This is Mike from Wicked Cactus Sauce in the 2013 Feast Your Eyes on This Round 5 Challenge. This week, Buddha's told all contestants we need to come up with two different recipes. One sandwich and one wrap. One's got to be served hot, the other has to be served cold. So I'm thinking of playing with these contrasts and kind of going a little bit further. Maybe something from the Northern Hemisphere and something from the Southern Hemisphere. Maybe something a little more rustic versus a little bit more elegant. Maybe something with some bigger, bolder flavors versus something a little more subtle. So what I'm going to do for you guys is I am going to take a hot Italian beef sandwich that I'm going to serve with a beautiful au jus and a homemade yardener of pickled vegetables. For my wrap, I'm going to take and do a seafood ceviche. Shrimp, scallops, flounder, and tilapia are going to come together in a lime juice marinade, and they're going to be served up really elegantly in a beautiful bib lettuce wrap. So there's a lot of flavors to talk about, a lot of different things to get into. Let's get cooking. For my yard and air, I really want to impart flavor. So I'm going to start with a salt water brine and we're going to let our vegetables go overnight. So I have one quart of water here, started off with one half cup of salt. I'm going to add my vegetables, four cups of cauliflower, one cup each of celery and carrot, two cups of mixed bell pepper, two whole chocolate scorpion peppers. I'm going to fill this up with water until it reaches the top of those vegetables. And we're going to let this sit and penetrate overnight. My yard and air vegetables have rested overnight in the salt brine. So I'm going to go ahead and pour them out. Drain off that brine. Give them a quick rinse. Now that my veggies have been all rinsed, it's time to make my pickling liquid. I'm going to start with two cups of olive oil. Follow that up with two cups of white vinegar. To that I'm going to add two teaspoons of granulated garlic. One teaspoon of black pepper. One half teaspoon of celery seed and then one full tablespoon of oregano. Give that all a nice good shake and then cover those veggies with that. If you don't have enough, just go ahead and mix up a little bit more vinegar and olive oil. I'm gonna put this back in the refrigerator and let this marinate for at least another 12 hours. If I can let this go a couple of days, that's even better. The star of my Italian beef sandwich is of course gonna be the beef. So I have here a four pound top round roast that I'm gonna season up really nicely with oregano, basil, garlic, and some super hot peppers. I'm going to roast this in the oven at 400 degrees until it is rare in the middle. We're going to set this over a pan that we're going to add some beef stock. It's going to catch all those drippings and make a beautiful au jus. When this gets done, we'll take it out of the oven, let it firm up overnight so we can shave it super thin. Then when we go to serve it, all we do is heat up that au jus, drop those pieces in there, they'll heat up, Ooh, it's going to be so good. To season up my roast beef, I'm going to take one teaspoon of ground super hot peppers. That's chocolate buccilochia and seven pot Jonas that we used in last week's marshmallows. I'm adding to that two and a half teaspoons granulated garlic, two and a half tablespoons of black pepper, one and a half teaspoons of basil, one and a half teaspoons of oregano. Get that nicely mixed together, and then we'll go ahead and roll that roast beef around in the pan. Get that nice and coated. My oven has been preheated to 400 degrees and as we can see here I've set the roast on the rack right in the middle and below that I have my roasting pan with my six cups of beef stock and the rest of my rub. Now the reason for setting the roast above this is because first off I don't want it sitting in the water because it's not going to cook throughout and if I use the V-rack in the roasting pan well then, the convection of the oven wouldn't reach the bottom of the roast. It wouldn't cook thoroughly throughout. I let my roast cook until it reached an internal temperature of 120 degrees, so that it was nice and rare. I then went ahead and wrapped it in foil and put it back in the refrigerator so that it would get nice and firm, so I could cut some really paper-thin slices. If you have someone who doesn't like it as rare, when you go to reheat this in the au jus, just let it steep for a little while longer. Those paper-thin slices will cook right up. To get started on my ceviche, I'm going to take my scallops, which I have about a quarter pound, and a half a pound of whitefish fillets. This is a little bit of uh, tilapia and flounder. I'm going to marinate, and I'm actually going to cook these in a lemon and lime juice. And uh, in order to do that properly, I want to make sure I get nice tiny pieces. So I'm going to dice up the fish and the scallops into little quarter inch, little tiny, tiny fine dice pieces. Into that lemon lime juice marinade, I'm also going to be adding a couple of these. These are ahi golden chilies. 
These Ahi Goldens, they are a mild chili. I don't want a real hot pepper in this one because there's going to be a lot of delicate flavors. And if I put a ghost pepper or a scorpion in there, it's just going to blow your taste buds out. You're not going to be able to taste all the, all the delicate flavors I'm trying to build with my ceviche. So a couple of these are going to go into the, uh, into the marinade. And I'm also going to add a bit of red onion. That red onion, of course, is going to add a lot of uh, its own flavor. But by adding it now, when I put it in the marinade with the fish, it's going to tone down a little bit. It's going to have a little bit of time to mellow out. So the fish, the marinade, they're going to go back in the refrigerator for probably two to three hours. I'm going to come back every 15 or so minutes and stir that. What I'm not adding at this point, I'm not adding my shrimp. Mainly because if I put the shrimp in now, two to three hours when the, sh when the fish is done, that shrimp is going to be little rubber nuggets. So I don't want to do that. What I will do is probably about a half hour before the fish and the scallops are done, I'm going to par cook the shrimp in a little bit of boiling water and then I'm going to add them to the marinade so that they get a chance to, to work in some of those flavors as well. My ceviche has been cooking in the marinade for about two and a half hours so it's going to be time to start adding my shrimp. So I have here a quarter pound of peeled, deveined, and detailed shrimp that I'm going to add to a little bit of boiling water. These are only going to go for maybe a minute at most because these shrimp, they're already cut up into small pieces and I don't really want to cook them all the way through. I'm going to let the marinade finish off the job. Next to my boiling water, I have some cold water that I'm going to use to shock the shrimp once they're done. There we go, it's been about a minute. I'm going to go ahead and take my shrimp, put them into my cold water so they stop cooking. The shrimp has been in the ceviche for about a half hour in the fridge, so it's time to drain off the marinade. To finish off my ceviche, I've got some other ingredients I need to go ahead and add. I have a little bit of green onion that I've sliced up nice and fine, some chopped cilantro. I'm going to be adding one whole avocado. And this little trick I'm doing here, if you slice up the avocado while it's still in the husk, you can just run the spoon around and have instant diced avocado. It adds a nice bit of creaminess. Here I have some chopped seeded tomatoes. Those are going to add some sweetness. Some finely diced radish. That radish is going to add a little bit of peppery bite, a nice textural component, a little bit of crispness. And there I have some bell peppers. Those bell peppers are also going to act like the tomatoes, adding some sweetness and nice color contrast. To make up my ceviche lettuce wraps, I'm taking a little piece of butter lettuce adding a couple of spoonfuls of my ceviche, and then just rolling it up nice and tight and sealing it with a toothpick. To serve up my Italian beef, I'm gonna use little hoagie rolls. These are just white bread, straight up uh, mini hoagie rolls that I'm gonna drop in the oven for just a little bit to warm up. Speaking of warm up, I've got to get my gravy going. This is the au jus that we cooked with the beef yesterday. We started out with six cups, now we're down to only four. So um, the longer this sits on the stove, the more concentrated those flavors are going to get. So I don't want to let this sit too long, I'm just going to bring this up to a simmer, then I'll start dunking my beef and making my sandwiches. So there it is folks, our play of contrast, our cold ceviche lettuce wrap and our hot Italian beef sandwich. You know, the difference is here, the subtle, the flavors of the ceviche, that nice cool refreshingness. Very mild heat. Those scallops, the shrimp, that white fish, the tilapia and the flounder. The subtle crunch from the uh, radish and of course, our Italian beef going a completely different direction this more rustic hearty mmm the yard and air that vinegar that spice you couldn't ask for two completely different types of dishes so for I love it spicy and wicked cactus sauce mmm See you guys next round.